Hello, mathematicians. I'm Mrs. G with Epic Charter Public Schools, and I want you to play a game with me today. It's called Candy Corn Math. Okay, now we're going to be doing the greater than, less than, and equal to. All right? To begin, see if you can round up some of these items. Okay, you'll need candy corn. And then if you don't have candy corn, you could always get like a bendy straw if you happen to have one of those. And you're going to you're going to look at the part where it bends and then clip that and then you can make it show greater than or less than or you can just simply write this out on a piece of paper and put this in between either way works or you might find something even better in the kitchen to use okay now once you've done that you're going to grab your domino set and mix them up and then i want you to draw one and lay it down just like you see up here in the example and then i want you to grab another one and lay it down and here's where we are, okay? And so notice how on the first one, they have a number. It looks like they've got 14 on one side and they have seven on the other. Now to show you're greater than, less than, we know 14 is a greater number or larger than seven. So you're gonna take your candy corn on the wider part of it, kind of like that alligator mouth when it opens up to eat that bigger number. You're gonna do that with the candy corn. See how it's laid there? Okay, so you're going to do that, and you can use a record sheet to do that on, just a regular piece of paper. But when you do that, I want you to write down the numbers to go with it. So you would write down, count your dots, and write 14. And then leave a space to do your greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Then you're going to do the other one. And so this would look like 14 is greater than 7. So you would want to write that down just like that. Now, for the equal, if you get two numbers that are the same, well, we can't use a candy corn for that, can we? Now, you could always use your pretzel sticks and maybe break them and then lay them down. You could write it on a piece of paper, or you might get more creative and find something in the kitchen to use for that. Okay, now to make this just a little more difficult, instead, let's look at the example at the bottom. Okay, notice how instead of just one domino on either side of the symbol, we have two. So you're going to put two on each side, count up your dots, and in this case, the two on the left side equal 18, so we're writing that, th that sentence down. And then on the other side, it's 14. So you want to think, which is greater, 18 or 14? Okay, well, I know when I look in the ones place, 8 is definitely greater than 4, so 18 is greater than 14. So we can put the candy corn there and then make sure it's on that wide side to show that 18 is greater than 14. Let me give you an example of how it's done. To begin with, you're going to want to grab some candy corn and then you'll get your dominoes, scatter those out. If you don't have candy corn, you can still do this. You can maybe take a bendy straw if you have one of those or anything that you might see around the house or at school that you might can make a comparison symbol greater than or less than. I just took the little bendy straw and snipped it right there at the bend and then you can use that if you need to. Okay, you want something to write with as well. And so let's get started. Basically, you're just going to choose two, flip those over. Okay, you're going to start with just two. And then you're going to count up the dots. So let's get started. I see three here. Three, six, nine. I know three and nine more is 12. Let's write that down. There's 12. Okay, on this side, I see five and six more. And I know five plus six is 12. Let's write that down. Okay, we can see that we actually have the same number. And so to show the equal sign, I just took some Play-Doh rolled it up and we've got at the equal sign and we would say 12 is equal to 12 these two are equivalent all right let's do another one okay let's flip over a couple more and let's try it again let's give a little erase if you laminate your little mat here then you've got where you can just erase it and start again. Okay, let's count up the dots. I see six and one more. That is seven. And over here, I remember that that was nine, 10, 11. Okay, so we have 11 and we have seven. All right, I know that 
over here, I only have seven ones, but over here I have a group of, I have one one, but I also have a group of ten. So this number is greater. And this is when you would take either your little bendy straw and have it open up to the greater number, or you're going to take your candy corn, that's a little yummier, you can eat that when you're finished, and you want to find the side that's wider, and you're going to lay that down, and there you go. You've got your number. And we're going to start with saying, Seven, this is how we would read this, and see how it's closed right here? We would say seven is less than eleven. And let's try another one. Another way to do this would be to do more dominoes. Make it a little more difficult. Okay, let's see if we can flip over two on one side and two on the other. And let's add these up. Okay, I see right here five and five more. That's 10, 11, 12, and then I've got, looks like 8. Okay, so if I have 12, 10, 11, 12, and 8, that's 20. All right, let's put down 20. Okay, on this side I see 6, and 2 more is 8, and I know 8, and 5 is 13, and then we've got... 6, 7, so 13 and 7, that is 20. Now you can add these up in different ways, but you should still come up with 20. And as we can see, we have another number that is equivalent. They are the same as, so we would put our equal sign. Oh, it's on a slant there. So 20 equals 20, or 20 is the same as 20. Now even though we have different amounts of dot everywhere, we still have the same. Okay, let's try a different set. Now, another thing to do as you go is you would want to write these down. It does not have to be on a mat like this. It can simply be on a piece of paper. But as you go, for instance, the one we just did, you would come down and you would write that. 20 equals 20. You would write those numbers as you go. And you can do that with a friend. Let's see if we can get another set of numbers that is not going to be the same as. Let's erase that off of there. And let's try some more. Okay, here's a couple, and here's a couple more. Okay, let's count that up. I can easily see I have five right there, and I know five and three is eight. And then over here I had seven more. So where I'm at now is eight and seven more, and that's 15. All right, and then over here, three, six, nine, and one more is 10. So that's easy. I've got a 10 over here, and then I have three, six, seven, eight, eight, and six more. That's 14, and I had 10, and I had 14. Do you know what that is? Well, I had 14. I can easily add another group of 10 to that. Instead of 1 and a 4, I would have 2 and a 4. So I have 24. All right, let's have a look here. The place that you can look to easily see which number is greater is going to be that tens place. Because in the number 15, I only have one group of 10. But the number 24, I have two groups of 10. This is the larger number. So you would want to take your candy corn. And you want to open it up to the greater number. There you go. And this is the way you would read this number. 15. And notice how the candy corn is narrow over here. It's to the point. 15 is less than 24. And there you go. You would want to write that down as well. I hope you had a great time comparing numbers. And we'll see you next time.